Hey everyone, welcome to Yagnama Reviews. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another bigger review your way in unboxing video. As you guys can see, yes, I bit the big one. I said I was never going to do this figure or pick him up because I didn't pick up Scourge. But I needed somebody to go in the middle of Galvatron and my Cyclonus figure. And Scourge, I'm not paying a million dollars just to get my hands on him. And it's that dark bluish color. I like the sweep color, it was a light blue. It'll look good once I put it on my shelf. And I go, you know what? Got them on sale at my local Walmart. And you know the king, he has his connections there. So he picked them up. Goes, you know what? It cost me about 35 bucks Canadian. So I didn't spend 48 or $50 for these suckers. I saved my money. So anyways, here we go. Let's do a quick review, guys. So here is the Studio Series 86 sweep. There's this figure. I'm sorry for the glare, guys, but yeah, from the Studio Series 86, here he's number 10. That's his uh, goatee, like mine, but mine's better. Here's the back of the packaging. You can read it and weep if you like. You know, so yeah, I decided to bite the big bullet and get him. The only difference is the color and I believe the hands themselves are switched. One's closed on the opposite hand with Scourge. There's the top. Okay, let's open this sucker up, guys. I want to see what we get in here. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what we get. Yes, I changed scenery, guys. Deal with it. I'll show you the uh, box inside itself. I got my assistant, my nephew here with me, so he can pretty much when I'm handing him over certain... Oops, I lost the uh, instruction booklet. That's what you get. You got bombshell and kickback or scrapnel, which leads me to believe that Scourge is bombshell. So we'll read it and weep. Debate's over. I need to get oh man, the instruction booklet. Let me show you the instruction booklet, guys. So this is what you get when you get the sweep. Eh, not bad. I never use this damn thing, so you guys know that better than me. And this is what he looks like in his clamshell. Just in case you're wondering what you get when you get him out, you get a little special flat blast effect in his gun. So, uh, like always, guys, give the king a quick second, and I'll have this sucker out of the clamshell. All right, guys, like always, I'll show you the weaponry that we get with this figure. So here is the gun itself. Pretty cool, standard, pretty sure the same that you get with Scourge. And of course you get Blast Effect, this translucent purple gob. That of course, you just put it at the end of this and he can do that. Pretty cool, nice to know you. Okay, now to the real magic, the figure itself. And I'm very impressed, I'm glad I picked him up. He looks pretty cool. And I'm glad I'm added to the collection. So here is, I guess, Decepticon Sweep. So that's what you get, guys. Check that out. Look at his goatee. Look at the madness. Yeah, not bad. Details there. Like I said, Scourge, this hand's closed. The opposite is open. And, of course, obviously, it's a lighter color. He looks pretty cool, man. Voyager size looks phenomenal. Not too many hollow parts. You can attach his gun in his hand if you want to, but you know me. I don't do that on reviews. And of course, you know I have to do it, right? So I'm going to put him down here. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to zoom it up so you guys don't have to worry about what he looks like. You know, this is what he looks like standing. And of course, I'm going to have to put Cyclonus and Galvatron in the picture so you guys can see the money shot. So that's one. And... Galvatron. So this is how it's going to be pretty much displayed on the king's shelf. Look at that, guys. Now, if that's not a money shot picture, then I don't know what the hell is. Galvatron, sweep, my version of Scourge. That's what I'm going to keep it as, and Cyclonus. That's going to be what it's going to look like. And, of course, if I really want to get nicely and creative, I'll put Hot Rod on the left side, and I'm going to put Cup on the right. And that's going to get my... Studio Series 1986 movie figures all into one, you know, so that's what I'm going to do. So 
Just give me one quick second, guys, and I will transform this Decepticon sweep in his alt mode and show you guys what he looks like. Okay, guys, finally, a lot of these pieces have to snap into place. I'm telling you, it drove me bananas, but here you go. This is Decepticon sweep in his glory. Looks pretty cool. It's what we're all known to get, guys. That's what he looks like underneath. Yeah, these little pieces don't clip in properly on my copy, but you know how it is. Quality control with Studio Series. But he looks pretty good, all in all. You know, he's not going to be displayed like this. He's going to be displayed in his other modes. So that's what you get. His feet are there. His face is covered. Gun. I think storage, it's pretty much on the side if you want to do something dumb like that. Like this. If you really want to get him to shoot and then of course special effects blast effect can go something like that if you want to it's something you can do i don't like it personally i think it's stupid but yeah for the most part the gun put the gun on the side so you can kind of do this you can display them any single way you like but i'm not doing it and i don't know if you can put it at the back here you could probably get away with putting it on his feet you could do that if you want, but of course, minus the the blast effect, you know? I don't know if you can join it on here. No, doesn't look like it can go on. Oh yeah, I could, if you wanted to do that, but that's stupid. I'm not doing it. Guys, 100%, I'm not gonna do that. His weapon, no. So, there you go, let's put him down. So, there you go, guys. That is my Studio Series Decepticon sweep from the 1986 Transformer figure review. I hope you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other figure reviews on our Yagnama YouTube figure review channel. Would I recommend you picking this up? Only if you want to have a whole bunch of uh, building army for the sweeps to go with your Scourge. Or in my case, like I did, as a replacement to go with your Galvatron and your Cyclonus on the same shelf. So that's pretty much it. Keep your hands away from my toys on my shelf. Get yours off yours. Don't let them collect dust. They're meant to be looked at, touched, displayed, and all that fun stuff, and not collecting dust in some shelf or some storage unit. Stay off the King's Throne, and I'll see you guys soon with another review right here on Yagnama Reviews. Take it easy. Stay tuned. There'll be more.